Hello my friends and welcome to episode 50 of our Football Manager 2021. Let's play. We're going to slightly adjust how we're doing this next season. So for next season it'll be like season 6 episode 1. That's the suggestion of G Turpy. And I agree with that. It makes a lot of sense. Um, so we probably won't have an episode 55 for example. But I think that's the right decision for the series and for the channel. Today... We are taking on both legs of Juventus in the Champions League quarterfinals. This was our final hurdle last season when we lost to Spurs. En route to there, we beat Juventus. We've just came through Liverpool. Now, since the last episode as well, we beat Kilmarnock 4-0, which gives us a four-point lead, if memory serves me correctly, in the league going into the split. So we can't really afford to drop many points in the league, which is crazy when you consider how well we're doing in Europe. Um, but hey ho, here we are. We're going to go to this match. We've got one change coming in from the last game against Kilmarnock where Fetty Thorpe comes out for Tony Weston. Tony Weston obviously fired us two here. I think he was suspended or injured for that Kilmarnock game. I can't remember exactly what the issue was. But, you know, here we are. So we've got Daniela Kingo, Josh Doig, Diego Almeida, Leon King, Bradaric, Nico, Lovromer, Ross McCrory, Nathan Young Coombs, Tony Weston. And Ro Zangelo Dal in the team. We've got Felipe, Vincent, uh, McGinty, Gutierrez, Gilmore, Richie Holster, and Arp on the bench. That Juventus team, we obviously know, is very, very good. We have beat them before, so we have to take a bit of confidence from that. But at the same time, you can't underestimate them. Maybe they underestimated us last time. You never know. Let's see what we can do in Italy against Juventus. Now, our record against Italian teams is fairly good, um, apart from AC Milan this year, who made us look a bit average, if I'm honest with you, in both games. Uh, you know, we got away with it, and we got through, but it doesn't that doesn't leave me with the confidence compared to, you know, like the demolition of Inter and Juventus last season. I say demolition. It was nothing compared to what we did to Liverpool. That was... Probably performance of the series so far, I will be honest, you know, we've had some good performances, but that is certainly up there, and when you add in the quality of the opponent, I think it takes it to another level. Now that is the most boring half of football we have ever recorded on this channel. Let's hope for a better second half, because otherwise I'm glad I'm doing both legs. Uh, so... Not happy. Let's go. Let's go again. <laughs> um, and the thing is, with games like this, you can't really adjust much. Because you can't see where the battle is being won or lost. Now, obviously, it's the midfield. But you don't know if you're doing good in the midfield. You don't know if you're doing bad. Maybe they're playing well and you're getting stuck and, you know, you're blocking things and then losing the ball again. You know, little things where you cannot tactically tweak to adjust things. Or so you need running the length of the park from one side to the other, all the way down, dragging players out of position, causing us problems there. Tellies towards the left. It's wide of the post for us though, thankfully. <sighs> right. We need to change things. We need to change something. So we're going to bring on a Richie Holster for Dal. We're going to switch Young Coombs onto that left hand side. Um, and I'll have Richie on the right. We could also bring off Nico for Gilmore. Nico's not having the best of games. He's on a yellow. Let's just get him off. And what other changes could we make? Josh Doig is knackered, but I don't have a right back on the bench. So we're going to bring on Fatifa Arp for Tony Weston. Again, just add maybe... All we maybe need is a prolific striker on here. You know, all we maybe needs is one chance. Now, Tony Weston is a good striker, but he's not prolific. I mean, no nil in Italy wouldn't be a bad result here. Let's not curse that we're not going to get an all-nil now. Um, well, I was kind of hoping for maybe a touch more. Gilmore. Poor pass, but Doig does get to it. Mayor Gilmore switches it. Nathan Young Coombs. Can he find one of those guys in the middle? He goes alone. It's actually a fairly good save from the goalkeeper. Um, cannot complain too much at that. Lovro Mayor with the ball in again. Cleared away. Before it gets to Ross McCrory. Young Coombs back to Richie Holster as we look to a rebuild. Lovro Mayer. It's a good challenge by Siazu. 
on the Croatian international, who's not had his best game, let's be honest, at a 6.3. Uh, Rich also on a 6.6, so he has made a slight difference since coming on. And Young Coombs obviously making a bit of a difference on that right-hand side. Thrown in, Chesney punches. Ooh, cleared away, unfortunately for us. When he punched there, I was kind of like, yes, we've got a chance. Didn't work out that way. Did not work out that way. Full time, 0-0 nil -nil in Italy. 0-0 nil -nil in Turin. That's not a bad result. Not a bad result. I'm going to go with Unlucky Boys. Wasn't our day. Now, we've got a game against Partick Thistle in between. I'll be back pitch side in a second for the second leg against Juventus. The winner will play the winner of Man United, Real Madrid, in the semi-final. So it doesn't get any easier, of course, um, for either of us. But let's hope we can get there. It's time for the second leg. We rested eight players, apparently, during the game against Partick Thistle. We won 5-2 in that game uh, so you know a good result there get to the Scottish Cup final where we will play Celtic <coughs> excuse me but we're back to basically the same team that kicked off against Juventus at Turin so we had Daniel Doig, Almeida King Radaric Nico McCrory Young Coombs Mayor Dal and Weston Fiddy Park did score a hat trick against Partick Pistol and was under big big consideration for today's game I've lent with Weston just for the counter-attack ability with Weston is slightly stronger, I think. Fatty Park is obviously more prolific, but he's a very much a box striker, I think. Uh, so, slightly different strikers that we have. That's lent that on this occasion I have gone with Weston. I might be wrong, but I feel like Weston does better in these type of games compared to Arp, who I feel does slightly worse. So, we kick off. They obviously look extremely strong once again. And defensively sound formation from them. Uh, formation it shouldn't give too many chances away. Which could be interesting. But, you know, all we need to do is win. And we go through. It's as simple as that. Win and go through. They, it looks like they've got six changes from their last game as well. So it looks like they've also had a big rest during this sort of sandwich game. As it's a clear away, Degal made a couldn't win it, but it's went back in. Leon King! Leon King, once again in the Champions League, heads home, just gets him that half yard. And this is all about it here. So we're on about recycling the ball here. Does recycle to Mayor. King just gets himself that half yard to get the header. Gets it on target, gets it down low. Makes it difficult for the goalkeeper, uh, Chesney, to save. And it goes in the back of the net. That's what we need to be doing on a regular basis, my friends. <sighs> so we go into half time, 1 0 ahead in this leg. Now, of course, any goal for them, there's no extra time then at all in this tie because they would have the away goal. So we need to be careful. We need to be careful. We need to make sure that we are in a good position. Uh, continuously here we are going to make some changes we are going to bring on a Billy Gilmore for a Nico um, and I'm considering Gutierrez for McCrory but McCrory's a captain but he is on a yellow as well so we have to take that into consideration so that's exactly what I'm going to do I was going to try and talk myself out of bringing Gutierrez on there but I'm going to listen to my gut and once again we will bring on Richie Holster for Dal who's not having the best of game we'll switch Young Coombs across to the left and we will have uh, Rich Holster on the right they've gone a bit more attacking now gone a bit more attacking now we've got 5 minutes to go come on come on oh no picked up by Weston just keep a hold of it keep it in the corner in fact I've not even told him the time waste so I'm in the day it. Weston's done well though recovered this one as well Gets it in for Gutierrez. Back for Bradaric. Whipped in. Kane Ritchie Holster off the bar. And what would have sealed it? <sighs> Chesney to Demarrell. Bentecourt. Played away. Oh no. Blocked. Ritchie Holster. Clears away. Just don't make a mistake. I don't know if we can even get this in now. 
Gutierrez back, Gilmore back. Uh, we'll play you as a Regista. You seem to like that, so hey ho. Don't know what it does. I've never used a Regista very often, but you know what, whatever. Go to here, be more disciplined. Time wasting. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Slow pace down, whole shape, regroup. Take that off. Standard, standard, stand. No offside trap. It's done. Got 20 seconds to hold out. The changes did come into effect there. But we're going to have to put up a sweat here. Just end the highlights, ref. That it's away. Final whistle. We're into the semi finals. Two fairly boring games. But Leon King's header has taken us to the semi final of the Champions League, my friends. Whew. Once again, we have managed to get past Juventus just. Just. Um, £10 million pounds we got for that. Let's have a look at what's in the bank after a quick check of this. So, Real Madrid 1 0 up going into the home leg. Tottenham are more likely going to play PSG in the semis. So it's looking like Rangers, Real Madrid, PSG, Tottenham in the semis would be my guess. So I'm guessing Real Madrid will be the next episode. Now the league, as I mentioned, is fairly tight. They've dropped points. So we're six points ahead. So yeah, we can afford to drop points now. I'm not overly concerned with the league anymore. So we'll leave the league for this season. Unless something drastically changes so we can focus on the Champions League. I'll be back next time for both legs of the Champions League semi-final versus the winner of Real Madrid, Manchester United. I am saying my Real Madrid are the favourites for that. But, you know, Man United are obviously capable of turning around, so it could be either or. Uh, but guys, tune in for that uh, unprecedented European success for us right now. Thank you so much. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Smash subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And I love you all and I'll hopefully catch you next week.